Throwing on third and long. Rich. And he held on to it too long. A coverage sack. Down he goes. Malone Nichols giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Only three points there, but I got to think, at this point in the third quarter, that's all you're really looking for. And right now, the lead is three touchdowns and three two-point conversions. So you and I both know a huge order for the best of teams. And from what we've seen so far, hard to believe that that's a likely scenario. Three two-point conversions, that's difficult. So out come the Raiders. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Well, I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. Off of play action, Sanchez. And he'll look downfield for Waller. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Kendall Fuller. I guess we're at the point of the game where they do need to open up the playbook a little bit, start to take some chances down the field, but that one did not go as planned. Yeah, these guys need something good to go their way, and they took an opportunity to take that shot there, but obviously that's not going to help. A tough play for them as they're trying to make their way back. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because he rifles one that's intercepted. And the Raiders are going to take possession of the football. Their defense got him to football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brand, I was afraid you're coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. A loss of two there, second down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Carter again. And he's going to lose yardage again as he is stuffed behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal line. They think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. To throw is Sanchez. And he finds Waller in the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Raiders take the forced turnover on defense and convert it into six points. 
no surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Sanchez going to try and throw. And he'll find his way in for two. And we're back to a two-score game. The lead's cut to 16. But well, still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. <laughs> to throw on second down. Rich Turner is there for another one. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Back to throw. Rich. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. So give him the yardage on the completion and also tack on 15 more. If you get that hand up there, you've got to let go immediately or just not close the hand at all. He didn't, gave it a tug, and that was easy for the officials to see. On first down, Rich. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. But he's brought down in the red zone at the 18 after a gain of 18. First and 10. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Down here in the red zone, you know your tight end's going to be a favorite target. Couldn't hang on. And sometimes they just have to get out of their own head because they understand how tight windows are there and how many bodies are there. And sometimes they just overthink it and don't catch the ball. Looking to throw. Rich. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Turner. And he's brought down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Well, they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Brown is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Extra point forthcoming.
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken in at the three. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. On first and 10, Sanchez steps away to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Chase Young. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. Well, this certainly feels like complimentary football to me, partner, because the momentum from the team's touchdown drive looks like it's made its way over to the defense. They're working together in tandem now. Offense gets in the end zone. Defense with a big sack on the first play of the following drive. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Back to throw, Sanchez. Dumps that off to Penny, his running back. And he'll go out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Here's Sanchez. He'll get this out wide to Penny. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. Desperation time for Sanchez on fourth. High throw, but he makes the catch. And he is going to have a Raiders first down on a well-designed play there. That gets him 16 to move the chains. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing again is Sanchez. And now here is another interception. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he will bring this one back. An interception return for a commander's touchdown. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense and certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Partner hoping they're holding a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. Point after here coming up. And the lead is now an even 30. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And able to get this out to the 25. So already not the best to kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goalposts. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. From the gun, here's Sanchez. It's caught here by Adams. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. On first down, it's Sanchez. That's caught by Penny. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up second down. Sanchez. 
Throw left side to Higgins. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. On first down, here's Sanchez. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Here's Sanchez. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A shotgun snap for Sanchez. He gets it to his running back, Rashad Penny. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. And a play fake. Now Sanchez. He's got his man on the crossing route. This is Higgins. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington 16. Sanchez from the red zone now. And a quick throw here. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Running left, it's Penny. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Second and goal from the one. Carter will take this one in for a Vegas touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Extra point attempt to come here. Now that shaves a bit off the lead. It's now a 23-point game. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Washington offense set to take over. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. They defer to Brown to start the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 76 yards for him on the ground now, and three touchdowns to go along with it. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Right back to Brown. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. To throw on third down. Rich. That is caught. It's Uzama. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 
27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory. Down at the 33. Now a carry for Brown. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Second down and a run by Robinson. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Back to throw. Rich. And he finds McLaurin. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 13-yard line. 13 yards down to the 13. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got an open man, that's C.J. Uzama. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Looking to throw on second down. Rich, a gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to make it fourth down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think. And my goodness, another interception. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. Extra point attempt here still to come. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken in at the three. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Raiders offense ready to go. 
Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Sanchez on first down, and he finds Penny. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. Always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. Second and two. Out of the gun, Sanchez. This pass complete to Higgins. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. So that a free 15 yards. And it's always a tough one as a defender because a lot of the penalties that you commit, pass interference, holding, when they happen, you actually know what you're doing. But a face mask penalty, a lot of times it's inadvertent, but it still costs you the same amount of yardage. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. To the air once more, Sanchez. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And the Raiders are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. Second and goal from the one. Sanchez now to throw. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Extra point attempt to follow here. And that'll cut the lead down to 26. A drive that time of six plays. And it winds up at six points for the Raiders. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Well, they came into this one with a vision, Charles, and it has played out exactly as they had hoped, if not even better. They've got the huge lead here, and now the football for the final moments of the fourth. Yeah, and it was apparent that they were the better team, right? We figured that out pretty early. But give them a lot of credit for staying with it. They didn't stumble around out there. They didn't create a lot of errors for themselves because they were the superior team. They took care of business and closed them out pretty quickly. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Commanders, it's another win for them. And you wonder if they want to redo on that one loss as they sit now at 14-1. and one. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for Las Vegas, this loss really hurts their playoff chances as they drop to 7-8 and eight with two games left. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Jaguars in Jacksonville. 
So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports. That my Brooklyn Gussie side rack, south side, C12, 911. Good to the reality, we still outside. Mine on the riches, hard in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground.